I would start up with intent enactment, right? Uh, we're talking about catering this network and making this network relevant to industries and enterprises. That means you want to take those business intent and translate more into the network aspects of it. This is where generative AI can be a very impactful and powerful tool. And we at Nokia believe not many people are talking about it. Um, traditional pieces talk about network planning, right? When we are rolling out networks, and it's, it's interesting to say from a Nokia and cloud and network services standpoint, we are involved in about 1,300 projects on a quarterly basis, transforming these networks to cloud native, 5G and beyond transformational journey. And in every aspect, we do network planning, network execution, network manageability aspects of it, and we are more and more learning in cloud and cloud native environments the network needs to be more conversational in nature. We are seeing enormous amount of data that we are curating while we are executing these projects. And in all of these journeys, we strongly believe that generative AI is going to play a decisive role. To understand uh, some of the challenges, we've got to understand the generative AI framework in itself, which is essentially, from our perspective, is laid out in four strategic pillars. One part of it starts up with data and data science. And when you take these generic models out there or closed or open models, how do you augment right telco data and data science practice into these models? That becomes a one critical challenge. So one has to start thinking about building data vectorization practice taking the right data, relevant data, network, real-time, near real-time data, and augmenting it into these models so that you can get the right responses. So that's one first challenge, uh, building data science practices. Second aspect is about prompt engineering, as they say it in generative AI. You gotta be refining your engagement and interactions with the model, and that's where the whole prompt engineering science comes into play. Hallucination management is a third challenge often you see these model comes out with very sophisticated and very polished answers and often they're wrong. And it largely depends on you know, both the aspect of data science built behind these models as well as how do you do prompt engineering practices behind it. So both needs to be catered. And then there are practices of RAG, as they call it in generative AI, that also helps in hallucination management that needs to be looked at. The fourth and the most critical piece, we believe, is all about people and skills. While we could be looking at all the technology factors out here, until unless we start thinking about how do we upskill and reskill all these telecommunications professionals that we have into this data science practice and prompt engineering, we're not going to cross that hill up there, right? So, so I believe, you know, these needs to be tackled. What's beautiful about this technology is, this time around, the telecommunications and the communications vertical is at par with the other verticals and other industries because everyone is seeing the unfolding of this technology at the same time, unlike the cloud native journey, unlike the API's journey. So we believe uh, telcos has got a unique opportunity out here, especially when the networks are living, breathing with real time and near real time data in enormous fashions. Oh,